Hey, what's going on, my friend? This is Dan DiBiase. Tonight, I want to talk to you about your critics, aka haters. Okay, these are people who, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're promoting, and anyone who's brand new just jumped online, you're promoting something on the internet, whether it be a business opportunity, a product or service, you know what I'm talking about, okay? First thing that you usually see is a handful of people who come out of the woodwork and they want to tell you what you're doing is a negative thing. Maybe they want to say that it's a scam. Maybe they want to tell you that it's not going to work for you. Maybe they want to tell you that it's not going to work for them or anyone else. And for whatever reason, they have something negative to say. Okay. Now for me personally, I've been in the industry for about two years now and I've had some great success. Okay. And at the very beginning when I got started, sure enough, I went out there, started promoting my business opportunity, was really, really excited about it. And I got nothing but these people who were really just negative all the time. And for me personally, I let that affect me. I let it affect me internally. Okay. I thought to myself, am I doing something wrong? And you know, I got upset with myself, with other people. I would go as far to actually try to retort and respond to what these people were saying. Okay, maybe I'd actually argue with them a little bit with the hopes of, I guess, trying to prove my point and convince them otherwise. Okay, and that didn't make me really any money at all. It didn't make me feel good either. It was an uphill battle that I was fighting the whole entire time. Okay, and then something magical happened. I don't know exactly even when it was, but somewhere along the line, I started having a little bit of success despite the critics, okay? And I started realizing that the critics didn't bother me as much anymore, right? It became where I was building my success and the critics would come out of the woodwork more and more. And instead of being negative and playing into the critics' negativity and trying to argue with them, I kind of started to like the fact that they were coming out of the woodwork. And when people tell me, I hate you, I tell them, I love you, <laughs> right? So people, you know, might be, you might be watching this video right now and you might not like me. And that's fine. The fact of the matter is, is one of the great things about this business is that we're all individuals and what I say and do, my story and my actions and my marketing, that will resonate with a certain kind of person. People who usually have had similar or the same kind of experiences as me. You might be completely different. You might have a completely different story and your message and story might resonate with a completely different kind of person. And that's awesome. That's what gives us all an opportunity to be successful is that no matter what I do and how great of a marketer I am, I cannot bring to the table what you can bring to the table. So when these critics and haters start coming out of the woodwork as I was having more and more success, I kind of started to actually look at it as like a badge of honor to wear on my sleeve, right? Like if the critics weren't there, I felt like I was doing something wrong. And you know, it's kind of true. Actually, when, when the critics sort of went away in my business at times, that meant that I wasn't making as much money. And then when they started to kind of resurface again, I realized, wow, okay, this is what it's about. And they're never going to go away. And I just got to learn to deal with it, embrace it, and do my best to put my message out there regardless of what anybody else in this world says. I started studying the people that I was following, people who were making millions of dollars in this industry, and I started looking at their blogs and their social media outlets. I started noticing, wow, these guys got haters times much more than I do. I said, wow, that's unbelievable. You know, back at the beginning, I used to think that there would come a time where, you know, I would just have so much success that the haters would just sort of go away and everyone would sort of just know who I was and know not to, part of my language, talk shit. But what the fact really is, is that the haters continue to come out of the woodwork the more and more success that you do have. 
And the beauty is that I build up a wonderful response system to them. Again, instead of responding negatively to the haters now, I either A, don't respond at all, or B, respond with love instead. That's my style and that's what I do. And not only has it made me so much more money to actually approach my haters that way, but it makes me feel a heck of a lot better about what I'm doing during the day. I'm not tired. I'm not exhausted from arguing with people all day long. And it also allows me to focus on those people like yourself, probably who's watching this video right now, who are the intelligent ones, who are the ones that are ready to take action, who are the ones who are seriously open to receiving and ready to do something with their lives. I realize I don't need to hate these people. Again, it might not be something that they really feel strongly about. Okay, it might have just caught them at the wrong time in their life. You know, maybe their dog just died, or maybe their wife or husband threw their radio down the stairs or something like that. Who knows? But I just started giving people the benefit of the doubt and saying, hey, you hate me? Well, you know what? I'm sorry to hear that. If you're interested in the future, just let me know and thanks for your interest. You know, and when you come at people with a love source as opposed to an argument and want to win them over source, makes things so much smoother and easier in your business. Again, gives you the time to focus on the people who are really serious. So my advice to you is, if you're dealing with people who are negative, critics, haters in your business and in your life, whatever it is that you're trying to do. This doesn't just apply to network marketing business. It applies to anybody who's trying to do anything. Anyone who's ever been successful, especially on a mass scale and you're in the public eye, people are going to see that. There's going to be people who are going to be negative. My advice to you is to show them love, stay focused on what it is that you're doing. And that is working with the people who are serious and who do resonate with your message, okay, and instead of showing criticism, are going to be open-minded and are going to work with you. Instead of trying to change somebody, why not leave that person be in the hopes that maybe one day they'll, they will get it, and if they don't, it doesn't matter. Because do you know there's over 843 million daily active users on Facebook alone? Okay, that's per day. Think about that. 843 million. These are the latest statistics that I've seen as of October 2014. So there's plenty of people out there. You know, the old saying goes, there's plenty of fish in the sea. There's plenty of people out there in, your, in the world that will resonate with whatever it is that you're offering sure whatever you're offering has value to it. I'm sure that you're really excited about it and there's nothing worse than when you go out there and you put your excitement out there and someone tries to put a hole in your boat. The trick is do not let them, okay? You are the master of your own destiny. You are more powerful than you know. So don't let those critics get to you. Instead, use them as fuel for your fire and you will be much happier and you will make much more money. I promise you that. So, thanks for watching as always. Appreciate you being here. If you have comments, please leave them below. And as always, I try to make myself available. So if you need anything from me, don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. This is Dan DiBiazzi. Let's crush those haters and go out there and smash it in the rest of 2015. Peace out, everybody. Have a great night.